Hello everyone, it's Clay Ramage back again with another video. This time it's a small garage sale video, but it's my first one I'm doing from uh, my new office. Now I don't have everything all set up, but I went to a garage sale this morning and I actually went to some friends of mine's house first for breakfast. They invited me over for breakfast since the garage sale was just a few blocks from their house. So we had breakfast together, then we ran over to the uh, garage sale real quick. So thanks Sean and Elaine and happy birthday Elaine. Um, and um, so I found some stuff, so I just thought I would share that with you guys real quick. And let's get into Here's it. The items I found, I needed a new pair of winter gloves. I thought those were a nice blue color, so I picked those up for a dollar. Um, this thing, I really, really liked this. It is, uh, she said it was carved out of like nuts, some sort of nuts. I'm not exactly sure, but I just thought it was really cool. So here's the other neat thing about it is the hummingbirds come out and then you just go back in the little holes paid a dollar for that isn't that cool i might just keep that for a while i just think it's really cool and these guys she had a lot of asian items um so i don't know i didn't ask her where she got it i should have asked her um, I found a couple of car related items. This is a little miniature die cast Mercedes Benz. Um, I think they traveled a lot to the Orient or to Asia, sorry. Um, and because they had a lot of stuff. This one is still brand new in the sealed package. Little taxi, Tomika. So those are fun. And then I found. This auto strap safety razor paid two dollars for this in the case. It's got the razor. It has the strap for sharpening, and then it's got the little box to store your razors in. So uh, razors are are pretty popular right now. So. Um, this one has a name on the end. I was trying to... There it is. Ballet. So, nice gold razor. So, yeah. So, that should do well for $2. And I picked up this little skull planter. Halloween stuff. Day of the Dead stuff is always pretty popular. So, for a dollar, I picked that up. They did have a large one, but I didn't bring that one home. I picked up two of these bundles of muslin fabric and these I'm going to put a put on the walls in the uh, studio room because that'll help rather than painting the walls I thought I would like to just have some fabric hanging on the walls so <clears> how <throat> about two of those for four dollars total for both of them they were two dollars each and by the way I just picked up this card table it's a nice sturdy metal card table for four dollars at a Goodwill, that was a separate buy. But the big thing for me was this huge stack. There's 60 comics that I got for $15. I paid a quarter each for them. Um, it's a big mix of comics. The Twilight Zone, the Fantastic Four. These are 30, 35 cents, which puts them into the like 70s from what I understand. He said a lot of these were when he was a kid um 1983 so and that was a dollar so here's a 35 cents space adventures space war um i saw a number of these monster hunters ghost manor ghost of dr graves here's the all-new phantom doomsday number one the eternals the Avengers, Fighting Army, Monster Hunters, The Eternals. A lot of these I'd never heard of, honestly. But I'm not a big comic book guy. Um, all new monst Monster Hunters. Here's Adventures into Weird Worlds. Now these are 10 cents. There's several of these. That's why I picked this up were these. So th these would be older. Um, that's what I was going to do with see if we can find a date in here 
Adventures into Wor Weird Worlds, published monthly. Um, hmm. Nope, we don't see a date there. And again, they're not in the best of condition. Nope, oh, yep, the old muscle man advertising. And dresses. Get these dresses, don't pay a penny. Fly like a bird. The advertisements are always exciting in these things. Here's another weird adventure. 1953, there it is. Okay, 1953. So yeah, these are from the 50s. Ventures into the weird. There's another Thor. The Downfall. Classics Illustrated. I remember those from being a kid. There's a Space War. March, I believe that's 1979. Uh, Conan, the Barbarian. There was another collector. I got these just minutes before another guy was there. And he was asking about him because the lady was counting to see how many they were. Um, and he, uh, like, he collected Conan, he said. So he was going to buy them all. But um, I got there before he, he did. The Call of the Wild. Mickey Mouse. Um, that one's missing the cover, but it's a cowboy magazine. Ghosts of Dr. Graves. There's another Conan. Metal Man. Iron Man. There's another Ghost Manor. Another Ghost Manor. Space War. X-Men. I'm sorry if you guys aren't into comic books. Uh, I'm just kind of going through them while I'm on the video here. Uh, Fantastic Four. X-Men. X-Men and the Micronauts. The Incredible Hulk. Incredible Hulk Unleashed. Luke Cage Power Man. Marvel's Greatest Comics. The Defenders. The Avengers Marvel Triple Action. Kid Cult Outlaw. Heard of that one. Mickey Mouse and Goofy Explore Energy Conservation. There you go. Energy Balance. Oops. Let's see, does that... Nope, doesn't say. Super Goof! Marvel Triple Action! Special Billy the Kid! Mickey Mouse and Goofy again. Um... These are without covers. Love Bug. Mm -hmm. Yogi Bear. Top Cat. So there's some miscellaneous things. Another Marvel. Captain America. Mm, 1976 by Marvel. Volume 1, number 206. Um, Tweety and Sylvester. Oh, yeah, Star Wars. I mean, Star Trek, not Star Wars. Star Trek. That would have been the 60s. Oh, it says 1977. Hmm. Interesting. Alpha Fight. And then it looks like a Goofy. Woody Woodpecker. And Richie Rich without cover. So, so wow, what a haul. Um, so we should do well on those. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. That's what we picked up on a fine Wednesday morning. We'll catch you next time. Bye.